Hey everybody, it's Fat Man from the Holler. Doing this DIY thing. Well, it's 2023. As you can see, I bought a Lee Precision Breach Lock Reloader Press. Which is simple. I don't have a lot of money, like everybody knows. But I do everything on a budget. So what I'm going to do, after doing some research by reading and YouTube, I want to try this press. And probably what I'm going to do... So I'm going to buy another one where I can have one for like removing primers so I can have clean workspace so I can have one doing primers and then the other one to do powder crimping and when you're reloading of course the main thing you want to keep in mind is your spent casings you de you have a deprimal deprimer tool you remove the spent primer then you run it through a tumbler with media, get the brass clean, and if it has any problems when you're putting a new primer in it, they do sell a reamer tool. It's like $22 to $44. You do that, and then you have another, you have like the snap hand tool, which I'm going to show you inside the instruction manual of installing the primer, and then you have a charge, a little powder, like a, it's not quite a spoon, but it's like a ladle. And you put the powder in it after it's measured. And then, like a lot of people understand, like one gram is 15 grains of powder. So you have to do a little bit of reading. And if you're going to reload, I'd recommend doing your research. Not just listening to me, but do your research. And definitely buy a horn today or a reloading magazine of some sorts by Lehman's or Lee's or whoever. So you can actually know your increments and then... I listen to people and they say once you reload 10, when you reload 10 casings, they always say you need to remeasure, make sure your stuff's accurate. I have a triple beam and I also have a Frankfurt Arsenal scale that I've been seeing in other videos because I'm acquiring reloading equipment since I'm not wealthy and I don't really have a very good income. I have to get one piece at a time, kind of like the Johnny Cash old song. You know how that is. If you heard of it, if you don't, it's a song about building a car. And he kept taking a piece at a time, putting it together. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to unbox this bad boy. And let everybody see what this Lee looks like. I mean, some of y'all out there are going to know what it is. But see right here is the handle. And then here is the ram. So you have your dies that screw in right here. And then... Your bullet goes right here, as you can see. And then when you pull the handle down, it pushes the ram in to where the bullet goes in to where it crimps it with the die, you see. And then you go down. And, and then you have to mount this You have to mount this bad boy to a good thing. And they say don't put a lot of friction on it because it, it is not real sturdy. And it can break. I've seen other people have problems with it. But I'm not, I don't ever force a tool. If a tool's not working efficiently... Don't force it, step away from it, and come back to it later. Just depend on the application. But there it is. I mean, it's, it's built fairly decent for, you know, 50, 60 bucks. And then it also came with this right here. And it said lock ring wrench. Okay. What else came in this little box off the old Amazon? Okay, there's Lee Manual. The Lee Breach Lock Reloader Press Manual. It shows the consistency of how the primer assembly, the flash holes, the primer pocket, the head, the extra, extra extraction groove, the web, the powder, the neck, the bullet, the mount, the shoulder, the body. So that actually gets pretty technical. A bullet's just not a bullet. It has a whole bunch of features to make it a bullet. So that's pretty good. That's very interesting. And it shows you how reloading is quite a simple process and it shows you how to do it and I prefer to do everything by hand in electronics because I have more faith in doing it manually as my ancestors did because I came from America when America wasn't robot technology and that's a whole other thing but we'll leave that be and it says install shell holder install size dying prepare your sizing die and it says Place lubricant, lubricated case. And then the next page, in here, it shows 
the Ram Prime safe with all brands of powders. And it's got the part number right there where you can buy it. And then here is a hand primer installation tool where you squeeze it and it pops it in. And then there's the ladle that I was speaking of with the funnel, the pour, the powder in. And really the best way of doing it is having two of these. One where you can do your powder, your powder, and your removal of your primer and the other one where you're just doing the crimp where it can be clean because you want to do that just by necessity more or less a safety for me because i'm just kind of a little bit over analytic on that and it shows you everything and it shows you the dyes and so forth and then it shows you shows you the back and it says military cases powder cases primers bullets etc and then on the very back it shows you the classic turret press when you want to increase production and no longer want to screw dies in and out of your press consider the Lee classic turret press a strong powerful tool that will handle the largest magnum case with ease built-in primer arm seats primer on the downstroke and the snap in turret lets your set your dies once when it's time to change caliber, simply snap in a new turret and a shell holder and you're ready to load. So, there's the part number as well on the classic turret press. And right here is the triple beam that I have. And it's the Lee Safety Powder Scale. It is the easiest to use and most accurate sensitive powder scale made exclusively to weight gunpowder. The Lee Safety Scale has a magnetic dampening the approach to the weight lifting and close with in its heavy metal case the exclusive safety beam has a stainless steel razor edge for maximum sensitivity you can be sure that the lee safety scale will retain its original factory accuracy for as long as it is not physically broken so that's very good but i would still manually do it just for accuracy and then it says the lee deluxe trim case it says the, the Deluxe Quick Trim Case Trimmer. So, like, if you have a case, you need to do what you need to do. After a, It says, after a few loadings, cases tend to get longer. This could be dangerous if the case were too long. That it would pinch the bullet in the end of the chamber. Pressure high enough to damage the gun could result a convenient way to trim to the correct safe length is with the Lee Quick Trim Case Trimmer. Install the appropriate quick trim die in the five quick turns of the crank. It will yield a perfectly trimmed bullet. So that's for trimming your bullet. Now if your bullet's too long or from the expansion of being shot, you know, it changes the case. So that's okay. Then we get to the top right here, which is, as you can see, breech lock bushings and that's and it says perfect with lee lock rings and the other side is the spline drive breech lock bushings and i know this video is getting pretty long because i'm reading all this but i really like to show people what the product is this is what i bought for 66 dollars off amazon it comes with the instruction manual the box that came in right there as you can see and then the press with the ram, the ram and everything's there you go and then right here as you can see the lock ring wrench and that's all for right now and much love and if you like the video like and subscribe and i will be posting a few more videos on some of the equipment i have and then as soon as i can get enough materials together i will be illustrating how to reload ammo or my method of doing it and i'm not responsible for injuries that is my disclaimer. I'm not responsible for injuries or anything you may do with what you're personally doing. I'm just responsible for me, myself, and I. And that is all, and have a wonderful day.